What's up, y'all? So today we're gonna talk about Vietnamese culture. All right, but before we get to know more about Vietnam, I have one question for y'all. How much do you know about Vietnam? Beside the Vietnam War, do you know that Vietnam had three different regions? Those are the north, the south, and the central region, or it can be called the middle part. I am from the south. And since we have three different regions, we also split our language in three ways of speaking or three different type of accents. Also, three different lifestyles and beliefs. So for example, for our culture, there is only one holiday that has all the features of our culture. And it is the aka Lunar New Year. And like what I said, we have different lifestyles and beliefs. So the way we're decorating our house is also different too. So for the South, we will put a pot of plant mine next to the door or next to the window or any opening space that we have in our house. And we're doing that with the intention of attracting luck and money because we think yellow is the color of gold. And for the north, they would put a pot of plant down next to the door or next to the window or any opening space that they have in their house. And they do that with the intention of attracting love because they attach great importance to love. And for the middle part, the central region. So basically, they would just follow from what we did of how we decorate our house. So there's nothing much different. And that's just a little bit of information of how much difference we are if we're living in the same country. To continue with what I was talking about is that what we also do beside decorating is cleaning. And the reason why we do that is according to this old tradition had existed time immemorial that cleaning our house will help us get rid of the dirt. And the dirt means bad luck. So it will help us or the owner get rid of bad luck for a new year. Plus, for me, that is also a connection from the old year to the new year. So why don't you start it fresh, you know? And the next thing we do after that is to go to New Year's greeting to our grandparents and relatives to receive lucky money. For me, it's a meaningful thing to do to show respect to your family. To show that you treasure them and you adore them. But unfortunately, the meaning gradually fade away. The reason is because parents of some children are envious of why their children got less money than others. Even though the purpose of doing it is not about the money, but is about to pass on to your children that meaningful habit every year to go visit their family. Sadly though. And the last thing we do is watching fireworks. And this activity holds a lot of memories of my childhood. Not with family, but friends. So I remember when I was still living in Vietnam, we were living in an apartment. And unlike apartments here, their apartment is very tall. Like the tallest floor, like the rooftop, like floor 14 so me and my friends we can actually hang out out there to watch the fireworks show until like one or two in the morning and that was all about the holiday the next thing that i will talk about is our food culture all right let's start out with pho we all know what is pho but then do you know that pho like the noodles it had a lot of cousins though we don't call them noodles in general but like they have specific term to call them so we have pho, And fun fact about our food culture is that every region has their typical taste. The south is sweet and sour. The north is more like salty or like rich flavors dishes. But the central region is the spicy taste is strong enough to make you cry. Or at least I cried. And last but not least, we definitely need to talk about banh mi or street food culture in general. Because banh mi and Vietnamese coffee is part of a street food culture. And not just banh mi and Vietnamese coffee, but we also have and a lot more. And whenever we talk about Vietnamese food, I know there's a competition between pho and bún bò. And of course, I'm on team bún bò. Y'all probably wonder where I'm at. So this is a Vietnamese church that I go to every Sunday. It was created by a small community of Vietnamese people. And what they're doing here every Sunday is they're selling Vietnamese food after mass for fundraising. And ta-da! This is my boomba. And my parents are eating pho. 
But anyways, I'm saying this.